Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing this MacBook over here running Debian Linux. Now, this should be way faster than any Mac OS that ever lived on here. So, without further ado, let's get started. Keep in mind that this MacBook Air is from 2012, has 4 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gig SSD. Alright, so now I'm going to show how to download Debian. So I'm going to make a new tab. I'm going to open it right here. Now we're going to look up Debian.org. And I'm going to go to download. And just like that, you get the ISO. And usually you can just use an application like the Lana Etcher to download the to write the ISO to a flash drive so I am just going to open that now and I'm going to plug in a flash drive so then you can just do flash from file Debian select your target that one and flash just authenticate And now we can move over to the MacBook. Right, so this is my MacBook. It's pretty beat up, as you can see, but it still does work perfectly fine. So, open it. And you can see it, and I'm going to zoom right into the screen. And now I'm going to try to turn it on. So, I just need to plug in the flash drive. Actually plug it in correctly and press power button and hold down option. And one of these EFI boots must be the right one. And yep, we can just do the graphical install. And just like that, you are launched right into the installer. You can just hit continue. So enter to continue. Enter for United States. Enter for English. As you can see, my trackpad is um, not working yet. But it's okay because it will work after the install, I'm pretty sure. Now yeah, it's just detecting network hardware. And so I'll just connect to that Wi Fi and enter in the Wi Fi's password. And we can enter in a host name. I'm just going to call it MBA2012 because this is a MacBook Air from 2012. Skip adding a domain name. And you, now you can set a root password. And set a username. And a password. And I'm in Eastern, yep. And now I can use the entire disk. I am not going to set up encryption on this. And select the right SSD, so just enter. And yes. And of course, you do have to hit the down arrow to yes. And then just hit enter. And 
And just like that, it has begun installing. And now you will configure the package manager. So United States, dev.debian.org is perfect. And now it will ask if you want to anonymously supply. And actually, you know what? I'll say, I'll say yes. And now it's asking for what desktop environment. I really like KDE Plasma, so I'm just going to hit enter. And then tab, so I can hit enter on continue. And just like that, the installation is complete. So I can hit, um, I can remove the installation media right here and I can hit enter. And now I can log in. And just like that, Kitty Plasma has loaded. I'm going to see, does the keyboard load up? Oh, the keyboard does light up. And I can make the screen brighter and darker. And let's see the sound. Yep, the sound does work. And let's see how it does on YouTube. Just like that, it is on YouTube. The audio works. Um, you can go get a and Michael MJD video just to show that everything works. This is actually a great video. I watched it the other so day. You might remember last year we took a look at Sky o and should be able to do 4K. So you might remember last year we took a look at SkyOS, which was a really fascinating operating system, not based on Linux or any other existing system. And on top of that, it was developed by a single person. Well, today we're going to be revisiting the world of non-Linux alternative operating systems yeah, by I taking mean, a look at Visopsis. It works. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So Visopsis. Just like that. I'm not sure what else I can get running on here. But we know that YouTube works, you can, so you can browse the internet, you can watch YouTube, even in 4K, which I think is amazing. The internet works. And you get all of the KDE Plasma apps. Which I think is great. You can go to the console. And do simple commands. Oh, I forgot that's how this is on Debian. That annoys me so bad.
But you can en enable sudo. I just don't want to. I don't want wallpapers. I want NeoFetch. But yeah, this does work. Of course, I don't recommend you just going in and doing super user, but I'm going to for this demonstration. So as you can see, it is an i5-3317U, and has 4 gigs of RAM, and it is running Debian on the latest version with 4K YouTube and Firefox, perfectly fine. I'm sure this could handle some probably Minecraft and some other light gaming, but other than that, I don't think you can do too much. Battery life is not terrible on this, <clears throat> but it could be better, but it's not absolutely terrible. So yeah, this is, was how to revive a MacBook that's 13 years old and amazingly can still handle most tasks pretty well under Debian, which is really impressive for how old this is. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and have a good one.